welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we will take a closer look at an Airbus A380-800 in the colors of Qatar Airways. And as always, we start off with the box and here we can see in the front side we have the cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside and we do have the Qatar Airways branding. Then on the back side we have a very nice image of the aircraft itself and we are provided with a web link by Harper where we can get more information about the aircraft. Now that's it for the box, let's take a closer look inside and at the aircraft model itself. And here she is, the Airbus A380-800 in the colors of Qatar Airways. Now Qatar Airways, as one of the three major Gulf Airlines, of course, is operating the A380, although not as nearly in as high as numbers as Emirates, for example. But still, it is worth taking a look at, and we start off with the tail section of the aircraft. And here we can see on this massive vertical stabilizer, the Qatar Airways branding. Then on the fuselage, we have the flag of Qatar, and we do also have the full registration code of the aircraft. Now, if we move from the back of the aircraft all the way to the front of this massive aircraft, we can see along the fuselage, the writing of Qatar, and what I assume is basically the name of the airline in Arabic. And then next to the queue, just on the left side, we do also, but it's very small, have the One World logo, as Qatar Airways is a member of the One World Airline Alliance. And if we then take a closer look around the cockpit, we can see some nice detailing, including, for example, here, the window wipers. And just underneath the cockpit windows, we also have what I assume is the name of the aircraft. But again, it's written in Arabic, so I can't be certain. If you know what it says exactly, then feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Now, you would think that the biggest aircraft of them all would also have the biggest engines. Now, that title actually goes to the engines of the 777. However, the engines of the A380 are still pretty big. If we take a look here at the engine cells, we can see how nicely detailed they are. They also have the Qatar Airways branding on them. And we can also take a look into the engines where we can see the nice detailing with the fan blades. Another massive feature of the A380 are, of course, the kind of over-dimensional wings. They are definitely too big for this aircraft, but originally there was an idea to even make a longer version of the A380, and for that the wings would probably have been quite all right. But as we all know, the sales of the A380 are going quite badly, so the chances of an A380-900, for example, are slim to none. But the wings do still look quite nice. Here on the top side, we can see some nice detailing, and also on the underside, we have some nice detailing, including the full registration code of the aircraft once more. Now, Airbus has recently announced the introduction of the A380+, Plus, which basically is an Airbus A380 with some upgrades to the avionics. And that includes also the wing tips, which now would be sharklets. But of course, this is still an original A380, but it has the nice little detailing of having the wing tips collared in. And then last but not least, we do also have the detail of the doors to the cargo compartments, which we can see here in the back side and here in the front side. Now, as I mentioned, the sales of the A380 are quite terrible. In fact, at the moment, Airbus haven't really sold any A380s for the last few years. And even with the introduction of the A380+, Plus, with improvements mainly around the aerodynamics, the aircraft still doesn't sell, which is a shame, kind of. I mean, at least from a spotter point of view, because the A380 is still a highlight when you come to an airport. And you would hope that the aircraft program would still have a future for the coming years. But at the moment, it doesn't really look like that. But what are your thoughts about the A380 program? Do you think it can still do the turnaround and actually become a success? Or do you think the program is doomed? Let me know in the comment section below. And with that, we've reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. That would be very nice. Or if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. And don't miss out on the next episode of Review. We will take a closer look at a Bombardier DHC-8Q400 in the colors of Lux Air. Now until then, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.